Hello and welcome to St. Paul's Storytime for this week. I am Reverend Elizabeth and I am so happy to be here with you all. We will start by lighting our candle. This week I have another candle that was made by my kids. I thought it was pretty Easter themed and colorful. We light our candle to remind us that God is present with us. God is always present with us. And then we will prepare ourselves to hear a story by taking some deep breaths and listening to the beautiful song of the listening bowl. My story for today is maybe not a really obvious Christian story, but I think it reminds me so much of what is going on with the disciples post Easter that I was really drawn to it today. It is called Seven Blind Mice and it's by Ed Young and it has some really beautiful drawings, I thought too. So our story begins with seven little mice who are frightened by something new. One day, seven blind mice were surprised to find a strange something by their pond. What is it, they cried, and they all ran home. On Monday, Red Mouse went first to find out. It's a pillar, he said. No one believed him. On Tuesday, Green Mouse set out. He was the second to go. It's a snake, he said. No, said Yellow Mouse on Wednesday. It's a spear. He was the third in turn. The fourth was Purple Mouse. He went on Thursday. It's a great cliff, he said. Orange Mouse went on Friday, the fifth to go. It's a fan, he cried. I felt it move. The sixth to go was Blue Mouse. He went on Saturday and said, it's nothing but a rope. But the others didn't agree. They began to argue. A snake, a rope, a fan, a cliff. Until on Sunday, White Mouse, the seventh mouse, went to the pond. When she came upon the something, she ran up one side, she ran down the other, she ran across the top and from end to end. Ah, said White Mouse, now I see. The something is as sturdy as a pillar, supple as a snake, wide as a cliff, sharp as a spear, breezy as a fan, stringy as a rope, but all together, the something is an elephant. And when the other mice ran up one side and down the other across the something from end to end, they agreed. Now they saw too. The mouse moral, knowing in part may make a fine tale, but wisdom comes from seeing the whole. I think about the story because I kind of imagine where Jesus' disciples and special friends feel after Easter. They thought Jesus was gone, but then suddenly he starts turning up in all these strange places. He's at the tomb visiting Mary. He's along the road with some of the disciples' friends on the way to Emmaus. He meets them as they're fishing by the seaside. He meets them in a locked room, which they feel like is impossible all of these impossible things that feel a little frightening because they didn't know what to expect and they didn't know what was going to happen and they didn't know what it meant that Jesus was back in this new way. And so the disciples and the friends of Jesus are beginning to see him in new ways and sometimes what they see is, is just a glimpse. And when these glimpses get put together, they become a better vision of the whole. And I think that that's what we as a church are doing all the time. We as a Christian community are taking what we learn about God, what we experience of God from our own perspectives, and we're putting them with what we hear and what we learn from people around us. By sharing our stories, we learn more about God. And so I invite you and your family or the people that you meet today and your friends I wonder if you could share some stories about how you've experienced God in some way, maybe during Easter or maybe just some other time, and see how these stories might fit together and help you to see God in a new way. You never know. So now we will join in.
prayer and think about how this story might have something to do with us and with God. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Loving God, we give you thanks for this joyful time after Easter as we are hearing great stories about the disciples meeting you in new ways and maybe have an opening to meet you in a new way ourselves. We give you thanks for the community of Christians who love you and who get to know you by prayer, by reading scripture, and just by experience in the world. Help us to have our eyes open to see you in new ways and be with us this day and always. Amen. Now we'll say our children's creed. I believe in God above. I believe in Jesus' love. I believe the Spirit, too, comes to teach us what to do. Amen. And now our children's prayer. For this new morning with its light, for rest and shelter of the night, for health and food, for love and friends, for every gift your goodness sends, Thank you, gracious Lord. Amen. We thank you, gracious Lord. Amen. And now we will change the light. God is still with us everywhere we go today. And our dismissal is a little different because it's Easter. Go into the world in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.